Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Phil Weinberger. Uh, I wanted to show another way you can do a dual scan protocol using the CareStream CBCTs. The traditional method is you're using your fiducial markers uh, on the denture, and the patient's wearing it, a well-seated denture, relined if necessary. And the patient's going to uh, wear that. You're going to take a normal comb beam with the denture in place, and then you're going to place the denture on the platform with the fiducial markers also still in place, and you're going to scan that uh, like a regular cone beam or using the denture scanning mode using object acquisition within the CareStream software. Um, those fiducial markers can be stickers. Uh, you could use uh, gutta percha that's kind of placed into the denture. Uh, so there's a variety of ways you could actually do that. And that's generally the traditional method for that. But there's also another way you can do it with the CareStream CBCT. So you can, um, in, in this other method, you can't embed the gutta percha into the denture because it's not using radiographic to radiographic merging. It's actually using uh, external uh, fiducial markers or markers to merge with the patient scan. So if you use stickers that have external markers on those, you'd place them around the denture like normal and patient's going to wear it and you're going to take the same patient scan as you would as the traditional method. But then on the denture scan, when you, dent when you scan that denture, you're gonna use the model acquisition scan in the CareStream software. And that's basically like scanning um, a model or an impression where you can actually export an STL file. So it's the model scanning mode versus the denture scanning mode. And when you scan that, you're going to get a scan that looks like this. So you've got your digital impression file of the denture and you can see the markers that we've placed. And now in the software, because you have all the data sets within the same record, you can select your align a model with the patient volume. We can see the denture that we've scanned and then go ahead and select align. And the software is going to do an automatic alignment and merge the denture with the comb beam scan that the patient was also wearing the denture. And using those markers, it's gonna automatically do the alignment for, them to, for you to then plan your case export to a lab, have them fabricate a surgical guide. The accuracy is the same as um, the other method, but it's also just another way to do it by scanning the denture using the model scanning mode versus the denture scanning mode. So hope this helps. Feel free to reach out with any questions.